Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to back up your Google codes on your Google Authenticator app. So let's get going. So welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me. If you're here to learn about how to back up your Google Authenticator codes, then you've come to the right place. A lot of people may have enabled Google Authenticator and added codes uh, as they've en enabled two-factor authentication on their accounts and never really stopped to do the backup. So that's best practice. But if you haven't done that, then this is what you need to do. So we're going to open up our Google Authenticator app and I personally am going to go through the first four or five accounts that I have on the phone and show you how we go about backing them up. So let's get started. So I've got my trusty phone here. So I'm just going to screen share. All right. So uh, here's our Google Authenticator. And so uh, let's go to the top and this should be normal uh, your first Google Authenticator is usually uh, a Gmail or a Google account and then below that I have my top three cryptocurrency exchange accounts Coinbase, Bittrex and Binance so I think those are gonna be uh, the ones that are the most important to you should you happen to lose your phone so let's start with the Gmail account so we want to go into the account, into the Gmail section, and then we're going to go over here to the gear icon. We're going to pull this down and we're going to go over here to settings. All right. And once we get into settings, we need to go to accounts and import and this top one here, change account settings. So uh, we want other Google account settings. And here we go. We're at that home page uh, for our account settings. And we want to choose sign in and security. All right. And then we'll just scroll down here and we'll see that two step verification is on. Okay. So we want to go into this section here. And first of all, we want to log in. But I would like to uh, get a copy of my backup codes. So here it is. Um, when you start this whole process, they give you that uh, option to print out the codes at the very beginning. You may or may not have done that. Uh, you may have done that and then lost the codes. So what we're going to do is just a step-by-step -step process of generating these codes and putting them in a safe place. So I'm going to choose Show Codes. And there we go. Those are our Google codes. Now I have the option of printing down here, so I'm going to do that. We'll print those up. Okay, and I've just heard my printer over there. So we're in good shape. Now you'll notice that I did not need to enter my Google Authenticator code to get into this account. And that is because this is on my desktop computer and uh, I it is a device that has already been authorized for Google Authenticator so I did not need to enter the Google Authenticator code to get into this particular account you may need to depending on where you're logging in okay alright so now let's check the phone out again and we'll move down to the next account uh, the crypto dad account now it's going to be exactly the same, uh, but if you're not familiar with how you go about switching, I'm just going to switch over here to the other Gmail account and it wants me to log in. So I'm going to log into the other Gmail account. And when I do that, I'm right back at the uh, codes page where I need to be, which is kind of cool. I'm going to go back to show codes again and choose print. All right, we're going to sign in and enter our two-factor authentication. All right, so there's the code for the Coinbase. Let's enter that guy in there. All right, we'll get into the account. And we're going to need to go over here to Settings and choose Security. 
Okay, so you can see now that I've signed into the account, I'm in security settings, but they're not uh, giving me an option to just see my current backup key. So in order, if you haven't backed up your key, then this is how you get a hold of it. All right, so we're going to do this regenerate secret key process. All right, now it wants the current key, of course. So let's enter it. All right, and we'll choose next. All right. Okay, so basically it's taking us through the original process again. We've gained access, and so we need to remove the first one. So we're going to go over here to Edit and choose Coinbase, and I'm going to delete the Coinbase. Okay. I'm going to remove it. Now I'm going to go back and add it again by hitting the plus and choosing scan barcode. I'm going to go up here to scan the barcode and now I've added the Coinbase and then we're going to enter it and re-enable. Now it's going to give us the choice again. See up here uh, where we've got this secret seed. We want to copy this guy down and write it on a piece of paper or paste it somewhere. All right, so that's the process for uh, Coinbase. Okay, now we're going to move on to Binance. And uh, now I'm logged into my Binance account here and uh, I have provided my two-step authentication. Once again, if you have this account backed up, you don't have to go through all this. My assumption is that when you created your two-factor authentication, you either failed to write down the code or you wrote it down and you lost it. So this is the process we need to go through to get that uh, backup code generated so that we can save it somewhere, okay? So what you need to do is disable your two-factor authentication. So you go over down here. This is usually the page you see when you log in. And as you can see, my Google authentication is uh, enabled at this point. So I'm just going to choose disable. All right, it wants the login password. And it wants the Google Authenticator code. OK, so we enter the uh, current code. to submit all right and now that means the two-factor authentication has been disabled now that we've disabled it we're going to re-enable it and this time we're going to make sure we save our code so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just re-enable it as we speak uh, before I do that <clears throat> this Binance uh, account in my Google Authenticator is uh, no longer works all right so I'm just gonna get rid of it and I'll delete that okay so now I want to add the new one so we're gonna re-enable so we'll go over here to uh, Google Authenticator all right now I already have the uh, Google Authenticator app uh, installed on my phone now uh, I'm going to scan the QR code by uh, tapping the plus and I'm going to choose scan barcode right and we'll go over there and we'll just scan that barcode we'll scan that barcode in and you'll notice that way down here at the bottom I've got a new Binance right and then we'll uh, go to the next step alright there's the code that's the code that we need to write down to make sure that we've got this guy Save. So write it down on a piece of paper or in a text file, whatever works best for you. Okay, so you'll want to save that in a safe place, be it on uh, written down on a piece of paper or uh, paste it into a text file that's on an encrypted flash drive or on an air gapped computer, however you want to do it. So wherever you save this, <clears throat> whatever makes sense for you. Now that we've done that, we're going to go to the next step. Now this is their failsafe that they want to make sure that you've written down this key. So uh, I'm assuming you probably went through this the first time, 
but maybe just uh, wrote it down and didn't uh, save it anywhere, right? So I'm going to paste in that new key. I'm going to paste in my login password. All right, and then the final step is the current Google Authenticator code with the new Google Authenticator that we've just enabled down here at the bottom. Whoops. Going to wait for a new one to appear. All right, and then we choose Enable. And there we go. So that's the process. Now that we've done that, we have two-factor authentication enabled, and we have uh, that Google that uh, code backed up in a safe place. So that if we were to lose this phone, we would be able to use that code to generate a new Google Authenticator on a different phone. Okay, so that's Binance. We pretty much do the same thing on Bittrex. Uh, let's go over and check it out. So we'll go over here to Bittrex. We're going to log in to our Bittrex account. All right, and we will enter our current code. All right. Choose login. And okay, so there I have successfully logged into the account. All right, so now I need my backup code. So how am I going to get that? Let's go over here to uh, two-factor authentication on the side here. All right. So we have it enabled. Uh, there is no, we, we're we assuming, and I'm assuming that uh, you've lost your backup code or you never wrote it down or whatever the case may be. We're gonna need to disable two-factor authentication first. So uh, we're gonna have to enter the code. So let's take a look at our phone here. Uh, we're gonna have to enter the current code to get the two-factor authentication disabled. So 341688. All right, and we choose disable. All right, and now that it's disabled, we don't need that. Uh, we don't need that code anymore. So we're going to do that. We're going to choose the uh, Bittrex and delete. All right, and we'll just remove it. Now we need to re-enable it, and this time make sure we save that file. All right. So all we have to do is. Uh, You'll notice there, uh, if we scroll down, that uh, they provided us that backup key. And they make it kind of easy. I can just copy it, right? And then I'll, I'll paste it into my text file that I have. All right, so now uh, that I've uh, safely backed up the key, I'm going to hit the plus, scan barcode, and I'm going to scan that guy in. And then I need to re-enter that new authenticator code. So let's scroll down here to the bottom and let's put in the new one. And then we'll choose enable two-factor authentication. And they're going to send me an email. So I've got to check that guy out. And there it is. They want me to verify that. So I click that verification link. And they want me to enter the code again. So I'm going to do that. You'll notice that the code has uh, refreshed. So it's a new code. And boom. There we go. So we re-enabled it. So we had to go through. We had to disable it. Uh, and then re-enable it and this time when we re-enabled it we wrote down that special code that we needed uh, to get backed up so now uh, I've taken you through the entire process for about four accounts okay so I've taken you through the process of generating those backup codes if you fail to have written them down the first time around so uh, a few of those you may have those you may have had some of those backed up already you may have not have had any of them backed up I don't know but uh, if you've got Google Authenticator enabled uh, and you have codes in there for certain accounts that you need access to 
you'll want to make sure you've got those backup codes. So either look for them, find them somewhere, uh, and make sure that you don't lose them, keep them in a safe place. If you can't find them, then you can go through the process that I just demonstrated using your phone uh, that has the, Google, the current Google Authenticator on there. Uh, you'll want to do this to make sure that you have those codes in a safe place should you ever lose your phone. Now I know this was a little long and convoluted, but now that you have those backup the codes and you've got them stored in a safe place, you can rest easy, not worry if you lose your phone or your phone gets wiped or whatever the case may be, you've got those backup codes that are going to give you access to your important accounts. Should you not have those codes backed up and lose the phone, then you have to go through quite a process to get your access to those accounts back. I think you may have noticed that Bittrex had said your account will be disabled for seven days while they go through the process. So you don't want that. All right. Before I sign off, I'd like to mention that I do have a live stream every Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We call it the live Q&A from LA. So I encourage you to join me and uh, throw out any questions that you may have. It's a great time for us to just talk and go through individual uh, questions and problems. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate that too. When you subscribe, there's a little bell at the bottom that will allow you to enable notifications so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope you have a great day.